Hello everyone, let's practice some uh, AP style multiple choice questions on polar coordinates. Let's look at question one. Which of the following integrals gives us the area of a region that's bounded by the graphs of the polar equations? Uh, theta is zero to theta is pi over four and r. So uh, recall in the previous video that the area of the polar region is equal to uh, the initial and final angle 1 over 2 r squared d theta. If you are unfamiliar with this uh, equation, feel free to check out our old uh, video on polar coordinates. I have linked it in the description. So then we can just uh, bring out the equation r and we find that the integrand looks like this and beware that because there is a 2 if we if r squared it becomes 4 but we need to divide it by 2 because of the factor of 1 over 2 and we see that option c uh, matches what we want so the answer for the first question is c okay now to question 2 uh, feel free to pause the video to solve it first and then you can come back to look at the solutions Okay, let's just start. So here we have S, a region in the first quadrant bounded by the graph of the curve r equals to cosine theta and below by the curve r equals to 2 theta. The, and the curves intersect over here. What's the area of S? So it only gave us uh, one angle, but we can actually find the other angles by looking at the curve. So this is the polar axis. And it's uh, the, the measure of uh, theta is defined to start from here. So this is 0 0.540. So if the curve starts over here, then it starts at 0 degrees. And over here, this is just pi over 2. So it ends, the region ends at pi over 2. So uh, we can also try to identify which curve is which one. It says it's bounded below by the graph r is equal to 2 theta. So this is r is equal to 2 theta. And above by r is equal to cosine theta. So let's just take the integral of this. Uh, we can express it in the air as an area. And then we find out the answer will be equal to b. After plugging this into our graphing calculator. Okay, moving on to question 3 again. Feel free to pause the video and solve the question yourself. Okay, so in this question, we are given a polar curve for this. So uh, we can easily see that the answer is going to be C because uh, this fits the formula of a polar region. There is a 1 over 2 here, and you just square the R. Okay, now let's move on to question four. What's the slope of the land tangent to the polar curve? R is equal to three theta when this is equal to pi over two. Firstly, we can express our uh, x and y in terms of y. So we express it as this, and then we can take the derivative to find the tangent. Then in order to find the tangent, we just uh, use chain rule, and then we just uh, put these, write these expressions here, and then we find out we can take away a factor of three, which looks like this. So we just plug in a pi over two to this one, and we find out that the answer will be b negative two over pi. Let's look at our last question. Which of the following expressions gives the total area enclosed by the polar curve? Uh, and over here, we just see that there's two leaves. And then we can, we can first find out the uh, places where r is equal to zero. So we can find out which are the angles that cause a new uh, leaf to be created. So it's at zero pi and two pi. So we know that the we can just find out because it's symmetric, we can just find the area of one region and multiply it by two. And that, this is why in all the options, the answers uh, tend to have the bounds of zero and pi. Now we can just 
uh, directly find the area of one leaf. Note that the area of one leaf is sine to the power of four because uh, this is sine to the power of two. And then we are trying to, we need to square R. Okay, so that explains. And then this uh, one over two is for one leaf. But since we have two leaves, you just multiply it by two. So now we need to find the answer with a power of four and then a factor of one. So we find out the answer is D. That's it for the multiple uh, choice practice of polar coordinates. And if you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments and we will be online to help you. Thank you.